everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a girl talk slash Q&A slash advice video, I guess. I asked you guys to send me any of the questions that you wanted to ask me and you guys did. So thank you for the people who sent me questions and I'm very excited to do this video and I just, I've wanted to do a video like this for a long time because I like talking to you guys and helping you out with any of your problems and yeah, I just think it's fun and yeah, I'm gonna get started. They say beauty comes from beneath, but why does my mirror deceive? The first question is, what's your fave beauty products? And I have three items I wanted to show you. These two are eyeliner. I always get questions asking me what eyeliner I use. And I use the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Mascara. Or I use the Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner by Maybelline New York. I think these are both really great. I was on a roll of just using this, but then it kind of dried out, so I had to go back to this. And I'm actually really liking it. That's what I used today. The next one is the NYX Butter Gloss. Um, I don't know what shade this is in. I don't know if it tells you. Mm, I don't know how to say it. Praline? But I like, I like a nude or like light pink. That's what I'm wearing right now. The next question. Why did you want to start a YouTube channel? Um, I've always been making YouTube videos for the longest time I can remember. I think it was in 2016 I started making like edits um, on my other channel of like BTS members and K-pop and stuff. I was a huge K-pop fan and that's where it all kind of started and as I started making and editing the videos I realized that I wanted to make videos that weren't related to anything. I just wanted to make my own channel and I looked up to a lot of YouTubers and I just thought it was so cool and I wanted to do that for the longest time. But I was really scared, and I was super shy, and one day I was just like, I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna see what I can create, and I did, and then I really enjoyed it, so I kept making more videos and more videos, and I started seeing that people were enjoying them, and that's how I got here. That's where I am today, and I really love making videos. I don't know, I just think it's a really cool way to interact with people, because I have really bad social anxiety so talking to people in person is like my last resort for me like I can't I can't handle it. it makes me super nervous I just have a panic attack over it so being able to like talk to the camera oddly enough like even though it makes me nervous but it makes me feel more comfortable talking to people through a screen like I feel like I'm talking to you guys right now but I just can't see you and it makes me less nervous when I'm just like typing. I can type how I feel easily but telling someone in person is like, I don't know, I can't handle it and I'm working on it but um, I'm not the best at it but I'm trying my best. And then she had a second question. She said what inspired, inspired you to like Nessa Barrett? Um, so I went through <laughs> After my K-pop phase, I went through like a TikTok boy phase. Um, I was obsessed with Vinnie Hacker, Jacob Day, all of those people. And I found Nessa through liking those boys. And so I, I watched some of her videos before she even did music. And when I saw that she dropped a song, I listened to it and I really enjoyed it. And so that's how it happened. I liked her from the beginning. and. Every single song she makes, I just connect to so deeply, and I feel like she, like, I just feel like she is me. Like, we've gone through so many similar situations, and her music has helped me heal in ways that nothing else could, and I'm so grateful for her, and in a way, it sounds so cheesy, but I just feel like she's my best friend, because whenever I was going through a hard time or whatever, I'd listen to her songs, I was like, well, Nessa made it through, so I can, and it just comforted me. So, yeah. How's life going? Like, work, family, friends, and stuff. Life right now, um, I'm like in a bit of a transitioning phase since I graduated college. So, 
I'm not for sure what I want to do with my life and that was also one of my big, biggest anxieties and fears for the longest time. I knew what I wanted to do but I didn't know how to do it and I was scared to do it. I didn't know. I'm always terrified of making a mistake and failing. I'm very hard on myself. I love fashion and I love clothes and I'm always on the app Depop and I came across people making their own clothes. I've always wanted to do it. I looked into screen printing and I got all the stuff to make it and I made my first shirt the other day and I plan on making a lot. I've been designing a bunch of stuff. I am super excited so please look at my Depop and I'm sure I'll have something that you guys will love. Um, I'm obsessed with baby tees, so that's where I'm going to start, is making baby tees, and then I'm going to make hoodies, and I'm just very excited because that's something I've always wanted to do, and now that I'm finally doing it, it's a lot of work, and I've had a lot of struggles starting out, but I'm figuring it out now, and I just, I can't wait to start making my own clothes. All right, hello everyone. I just wanted to pop in to talk a little bit more about my clothing brand. Um, it's called Morbid Dreams, and right now I'm solely on Depop, but I plan on making my own website very soon. I've been really working hard on it, and I have a lot more designs coming soon, so please stay tuned. Um, I'm wearing one of the shirts right now, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like, I've been growing over my own clothes, but this has been, like, a dream of mine for a long time, and I just can't believe it's finally coming true. This is the wolf baby tee. It's so cute. It's absolutely stunning. I wanted to show you some other shirts, another design, and the same shirt, but I want, like, I just want you to be able to really see it in its full glory. This is the same shirt, um, that I'm wearing right now. Isn't she stunning? I'm absolutely, I just, I can't. Ah, I'm in love. Okay, and this one is a Lana Del Rey inspired t-shirt. It's in the land of gods and monsters. I was an angel because this is like my favorite song by her. And then this is the back. I only have like three options right now for sizes, a small, medium, and large. But if I don't have your size and you want to purchase something, please message me on Depop. I'm really serious about this, and that's why I've been taking a lot of time off from YouTube, because I've been really focused on this, and I just, I can't believe I'm showing you guys right now. And yeah, let me know your thoughts. If you do buy anything, please let me know. Um, that would be amazing. That would, like, fulfill my heart so much. Thank you for listening to me. I know this video is really long and I've been going on a rant about my clothes, but thank you for watching and yeah, I love you guys. I don't have a lot of friends. My friend life is gone very downhill. I only have a couple good friends. I've lost a lot and I'm trying to learn how to move on from that. My best advice if you're struggling with finding friends is I I don't know. I'm the type of person that doesn't go out searching for stuff. I just let it to happen to me. And I'm just waiting to find more friends. And if I don't find any more friends, that's okay. Um, I have my family and I have my boyfriend. I have my animals. And right now, sometimes when I think about it, like, it makes me upset because I'm like, oh, if I had a friend, I could go do this. If the people like my family or my boyfriend's busy, then I'm like, dang. I don't have anyone to talk to right now. I don't have anywhere to go right now, but I just find ways to keep myself occupied. And my actual job is going pretty well. I know I don't want to do that forever, so I'm just trying to figure out how I can support myself. And I really hope my clothing um, brand or whatever, making my clothes is successful. And I really hope YouTube is as successful. I've been working at it for a very long time. I've had this channel for like two years now. And I think I'm finally making the content that I've always wanted. And I'm, I just, I'm waiting for my time. And thank you to everyone who does watch me. And all of you mean literally so much to me. All your comments bring me so much joy. And I do really appreciate every single one of you. You guys are so sweet. And I just want you to know that I love you dearly and whatever you're going through, I know you'll make it out of it and I support you. I just feel like you guys are my friends. Like I said, I don't have a lot of friends, so I feel like you guys are my friends. And I'm just going on a rant. This is what this video is for. But yeah, I love you. Okay.
Um, and thank you for asking me how I'm doing. That made me, like, really happy. Because I know, like, I care about you guys. And to say that you care about me just makes me really happy. And I'm going to give you a big hug. And I will give you an air hug. The next question, <laughs> um, as I was just talking about, my boyfriend is from my boyfriend. Uh, he said, why are men mean? And I know he was, like, making that as a joke. But I'm about to go on a full rant about this. I would say... If a man is being mean to you or a boy, first of all, if it's like extreme, like if he's actually like abusive towards you, you need to leave. And I know it's hard to because if you really love the person or you think you really love the person, it's going to be hard on you. But you got to find other people to support you and you got to be strong enough yourself to leave because you got to know your worth and you got to you got to make the best choice for you and staying in that relationship is not the best i've been through that before and it was really hard and i thought my whole world was ending but trust me girl after you do that a whole new world opens and you got so many new opportunities the right man will come your way you just gotta surround yourself with people that make you feel good about yourself and that you care about and you know that they care about you just the same i would say if a man is being mean to you but it's not like extreme and it's not abusive or anything like that he's just like bullying you then that means he likes you it's his way of flirting it's like a thing like that's how i don't know for me and my boyfriend for example we're always bullying each other but then the day we know like we're just joking that's just our way of flirting and i know like if you're younger it's just like it's just a thing like you remember on the playground if a boy chased you they're like oh he likes you he has a crush on you that's just that's just how men are it's weird but that's just how they work and you gotta you gotta be able to distinguish like flirting and playing between abusive and there's a big difference between them so you should know if he does like you and he's like messing with you and playing with you and flirting with you and you don't like the some things that he says and that hurts your feelings don't be scared, just tell him and I'm sure he'll understand. And she said, I'm not sure if this is relevant enough, and it is. It said, how did you find your makeup style? And you're so pretty and I love your makeup so much and I literally can't pick between styles ever. Well, thank you so much. You're so sweet. And girl, I understand your struggles. When, I guess, I'll start from the beginning. Um, when I got into makeup, I think I was around 17 years old I'm 20 now so like in three years when I first started I had no idea what I was doing I was just throwing stuff on my face but I would watch makeup tutorials I would look on Pinterest and Pinterest is amazing if you go on Pinterest and you like save a bunch of makeup styles that you like and then you go through them and you can most of the time they'll tell you what kind of style it is or like what aesthetic it is and then you can look at more of those and then they usually have tutorials on there too that's how I kind of found what I liked was by seeing what other people's makeup looked like and I I don't know I've I used to be like a soft girl believe it or not I was like wearing pink I have like butterfly clips in my hair or whatever that's was like my junior year of high school i was a soft girl and then i was like i decided i wanted to be an e-girl because um i was obsessed with chase hudson and so i would alternate between those two things soft girl e-girl soft girl e-girl and i was confused like even like makeup style i didn't know what and i just kind of I don't know I just decided I liked the way I looked in black a lot and I liked I just also got my I don't I don't I don't know actually why I decided but I just love gothic grunge alternative I don't know whatever you want to call it I like black and I like edgier style and I love eyeliner eyeliner is like my favorite favorite part and I think with my eye color, black around my eyes just makes them pop more, so I put a lot of black on my eyes. Um, I don't like having a lot of stuff on my face. I just cover up little imperfections that I have. I have a pimple redness, and I don't like to contour or anything like that. I just think it doesn't look good on me, and I also don't know how to do it. So I'd say my advice when it comes to makeup 
is keep it simple but if you want to like be a little bit more dressed up want to do a little bit more i would focus on the eyes i would make your eyes whatever color you think suits your eyes i would use it and i wouldn't put it just like on your eyelids i like to bring it down it just makes it more dramatic and i like that effect a lot more it took me a long time to figure out how to do eyeliner and it might take you a long time it might not it just depends but yeah and i don't think you have to stick to one style you can do whatever you want dream music collab between two artists and i have a couple i really want nessa and chase atlantic to do a song together i think that would be a masterpiece they're like my two favorite artists ever i know maggie and chase atlantic already did a song together but it was more like uh chase atlantic um dropped the song and then she got on it but i want them to like do a brand new song together and yeah i think that's about it i don't know chase atlantic with anyone i would listen to it i love chase atlantic like they're my all-time favorite everything i'm really sad these days can you make things better for my life like talk about things better for my life i understand how you feel i um go through a lot uh, mentally and i struggle a lot with um with my mental health and i've never really talked about it it's really weird for me to talk about um but uh i am still struggling to this day um so i know how you feel and i know somewhat of what you're going through but i know it depends different people going through different situations and i struggle a lot with my self-worth kind of um self-confidence um it's really like i act like i'm very confident and i am to a certain extent like sometimes i am but it lasts for like a minute a few minutes and then i'm insecure in my head overthinking everything and i think it's really important for people to understand and have an open mind for people who struggle with stuff like um struggles with their body and how they perceive their body and what they look like because you could not feel confident and you can open up to it about someone and they just don't understand how you see yourself that way which i understand but um and i do it with like other people someone i think is absolutely stunning and gorgeous and i see them talk down about themselves it makes me sad because that's someone i think is like the most beautiful person i've ever seen and it's weird to think that some people see me that way like my boyfriend for example i feel like my problem is i compare myself to people and that makes me really sad like i do it to myself i'm my almost worst enemy and i don't know if that's what you're struggling with is um self-conflict or if it's someone making you sad either way i think the best thing to do is to talk to someone about it someone that you're very comfortable with speaking about it someone that you know you can trust and someone that is understanding of your situation and understanding of your feelings and also talk to like a therapist or something that's something i've looked into i've never actually done it and i think i need to but um it's all of it's really scary and i'm sorry that you are going through it and i wish you nothing but the best um when i am sad i tend to just completely shut down i don't want to do anything i just want to lay in bed i just want to lay around i days i feel so confident i feel so ready to tackle the day to do all these tasks i push myself and one little thing can set me off into a spiral and i don't want to do anything i just shut down i don't do anything i mean it's okay to do that sometimes but i do it all the time and it's not it's not helping me any i need to face the problem and i need to do my absolute best to fix it but sometimes i just get in my head and i'm like i can't do it i can't do it and you really can and i believe in you i i don't know what you are sad about but i hope you 
figure out how to be happy and if you're sad all the time then you really need to talk to someone but if it's about a certain situation like you're grieving a loss or something I I totally understand it. it is a really hard place and it's a difficult situation it's like a balancing thing because you need to move on from whatever it is and you need to get help for it but you also gotta understand that it's okay to feel the way that you do it's okay to be sad sometimes it's okay to cry it's okay to be mad at something that's all natural feelings but it's how you move on from those feelings that really count and um, it's either gonna make you or break you and I think for the longest time I was just breaking myself and I'm trying really hard I was in a really good spot for a long time and then I just went downhill and I'm trying my best to get out of it and I'm starting to see the other side and I know you got it in you so you just gotta keep fighting and at the end of the day no matter what you know you have yourself I don't know that's a really touchy subject for me to talk about but I hope I did it justice and just know that you are worth something and you are we're made for a purpose and maybe you haven't found your purpose yet but you will and just to keep hanging on I know it sounds cliche but you just gotta keep holding on and then a new day will come and every day is a new day and you got the chance to make it the best day or you have the chance to make it the worst day and I know something has come your way that you didn't ask for and that you didn't want but there's they're there for a reason and they teach you a lesson. You might not realize it now, but you will one day and you'll understand why it had to happen and, and it will make you a better person. And yeah, I just keep holding on and I hope I gave you some good advice. Just know that it, you're not alone no matter how alone you feel. And you, there's always someone out there, no matter who it is, that cares about you and that they will listen to your problems and they will try their best to absolutely help you. And I know you might not be close with any of your family, you might not be very close to any of your friends or you might not have any friends, but if you look, there'll be a person there that you can talk to, whether it's a teacher, a therapist, um, a random person on the street, Maybe you see that they're having a bad day and you go talk to them to make them feel better and maybe you realize that you have a lot of common and they're struggling with the same thing that you are and you guys can help each other out. Life is very hard to figure out and um, it's a roller coaster ride. How do you become more confident and like deal with bullying? I am working on my self confidence and how I feel and view myself. And it is a long journey, and I don't think it's ever going to end. It's going to be a lifelong thing, no matter what. And you're going to have lots of up and downs. But I think my problem is, and I know a lot of women deal with this, is that you base your self-worth on how you look like and how you view your body. Instead of how you view your heart and your soul and your personality, it's about what you look like. And I think that's because throughout the years, um, society has put a lot of pressure on us on how we look like and um, it's not fair it's not right but that's just how it is and you have to learn how to navigate that and it's really hard because nowadays um, you see all these women and all these girls who post pictures and you're like oh my god they're so pretty they're effortless they have no flaws they have a tiny tiny waist they got big hips their boobs are huge their butts huge and it's hard to distinguish what's real and what's not real and well it's not really but when you are insecure and you're um, comparing yourself to people that you see online it's not really registering up here that they're not most of those that's not real they're photoshops they got work done and I feel bad because it's like a double-edged sword because it makes you feel like crap seeing someone that looks that good but when you think about it and they felt insecure enough to change the way that they looked and um, maybe not about insecure they were insecure and they did it for themselves to feel more confident but you don't know what they're going through and I think the natural instinct for a lot of people is to call them out and to be mean to them 
for doing like photoshopping their picture or something like that. I came now to a place where I'm just like, I think about how they feel and I just know that I can't compare myself to them and they shouldn't feel the need or have to change the way they look to fit into what is the ideal body type, what's the ideal features. You just gotta be yourself, you gotta know that you are beautiful on the inside and out and if you don't feel confident about the way you look on the outside it's more about your heart and how you feel and what you do for other people I feel like but also for yourself and um, I hope you know your worth and I hope you know that you are beautiful and it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks about you it's about how you think about yourself and I think a lot of people let other people's thoughts creep into their mind and then you start believing it and start thinking it, thinking of yourself that way and you shouldn't. If you're being bullied, you should tell someone. Um, you shouldn't just handle it on your own. Even if you're scared of um, what that person, the person that's bullying you might do to you if you tell someone. I know in high school and teenagers can be very mean to each other um, out of jealousy and that is not the right way to go um, and I never been a part of it I tried to stay out of it I didn't really talk very much and not a lot of people talk to me so I didn't deal with that kind of like gossip bullying type um, I just know that you should tell someone, um, whether it be your parents, a teacher, the principal, and if they don't do anything about it, then you need to tell someone else and you need to make sure that they know that the adult that you told didn't do anything about it because that's not right and they should help you through the situation. If they don't believe you then they and they don't do anything about it, that's just so messed up. I've heard stories about that, but yeah. And you also, I feel like it's important um, to stand up to your bully. I think most of the time in a bullying situation, it's out of jealousy. So just know that the person bullying you is going through a lot and they're taking it out on you, which is not fair, but just know, okay, it sounds kind of bad, but take it as a compliment actually because they're bullying you because they, they want to be you mainly, but um yeah i'm sorry that you're going through that and i hope everything gets better and i hope my advice um was was decent enough i got a bunch of questions from this one person about um nessa what inspires you appeals you draws you the most to nessa what does it bring you i guess she's asking me like what nessa's music has brought to my life and um it has brought me lots of joy and um, healing. I, I, as I said before, I go through a lot that Nessa has gone through and she writes about. And me listening to that really helps me cope with the feelings and the thoughts and everything that's going on. Um, one song in particular I really relate to and it's Dying on the Inside. And I really tell of her songs in some type of way that's what draws me to her is because her music is so real and so pure and I feel like anyone in the world can listen to all of her songs and they will relate to at least one song that she's wrote about and I don't think anyone, any other artist I could say that about. Like Nessa is so like poetic, all of her lyrics mean something and that's why I I love her music. What's your favorite era of Nessa? The Pretty Poison, Young Forever, uh, Hell is a Teenage Girl. I would say Young Forever because when the album came out, I left a part of my life that um, left me very scarred and broken. And when that album came out, I felt like each song I was going through a different stage of healing from that. And I was like my most confident when that album came out. I remember I was so happy. I felt so confident. I felt on top of the world when that album came out. And I think she's she really helped me 
all first songs do about that album just helps me get through a really hard time. What's your favorite Nessa music video? My favorite video of hers would be... I really like the Bang Bang music video because it's really like out there and it's really like... Um, what's the word? It's not my vibe. I don't know. It's just I just really like the visuals of it and the aesthetic. But I love um, Die First also because it has a special meaning and um, when that video came out, I... I don't know. I just, it resonated with me and I liked the aesthetic of it too. And it was just a really beautiful song and a very beautiful music video. My favorite song from Maggie Lindemann's Sucker Punch. I, they're all so good. But the one, when it first came out, it wasn't my favorite. But as time went on, I really connected to this song. Um, it was, it's Girl Next Door. When the album came out, I was more connected to like the heartbreak ones because that's what I was dealing with at that time. But right now, I think Girl Next Door is where I am at, where I'm at in my life. And yeah, I think I answered most of all of them. Um, I know there are some Nessa questions I didn't answer. They all kind of related to the same thing, but yeah. Um, thank you for all the questions, and I, I know I ranted a lot, and this is going to take me a long time to edit, but, um, when I start talking, I just can't, all the thoughts throw out, and I'm sorry if some of it didn't make sense, but I tried my best, and I hope I could give you some good advice in some way. I hope you have an amazing day, and I really appreciate you. Thank you for all your support, and I love you no matter what you're going through right now. Just know that there's always a better day. You'll get through it, and just know your worth. Don't let anyone tell you what you're worth, because once you do that, you'll, you'll go down a deep, deep, dark hole, and... It's going to take a while to get out, but you will. But just know, please just know that you are worth so much more than being bullied, than being abused, than being told that you're not good enough because you are. And yeah, thank you and I love you. Bye. Oh, I just wish I could be.